today's video i'm going to show you two videos um one how to make a torch tip that can reach around corners you don't have to buy a specialty tip and um some stuff that i just discovered today about train technical support on their higher series systems some of you have known about this for years but some of this i just discovered today because i don't work on that stuff a whole lot but um what they offer and what you can get out of the manual is uh just fantastic so um i want to show you what i found and uh i hope you like the video all right i'm fixing to show you how i made this um i had multiple problems with that it's and i had trouble cleaning it out and i just couldn't get it fixed right so i'm gonna make another one and uh you don't have to look for and buy them like this and if you'll notice i don't have this coming 180 degrees you kind of want it at a small angle because if you pull it all the way around you'll see you'll have trouble using it so you leave it at an angle like that enough that's it so i'm gonna let that cool and then we're gonna put it in my torch and see how it does this by far is my favorite tip i think that's a three this one right here says it's four all right to show you you can do that There you go. That's how you make a, a little crook to weld around corners. On this one, I'm going to show you how to get some tech tips on variable speed systems like this one. First is the train tech support phone number. Second, if you Google the manual and pull up the PDF, it has a lot of information, really detailed. It has, um troubleshooting guides which i'm which i'm fixing to show you here this one i'm going to some of the compressor troubleshooting guides and, and if you look right there there is a code where you can link to the video that shows you how to work on those and this one is for the controller that tells you how to pull up codes and run tests and also if you go to this website right here um it's fieldtechhelp.com it pulls up here we go you click on train and then what i did here i, I click on service tech and and then I go over to um, field tech videos, variable speed. 
and it pulls up some very good videos that help you work on these things. So um, I didn't know about these resources until just yesterday and uh, they're very helpful. So I've been watching videos and reading manuals. Um, you know what they say, never stop learning, read the manual. And if there are other resources, you can reach out to that train tech phone number and get to get to the help and um, they can help lead you to this. We don't have a train dealer here in town. So the those higher seer systems are kind of rare, but I wanted to share this with you. I hope this helps you. All right, that's my two videos. And just to add a note, I'm not a train dealer. So actually there's some information maybe some manuals that you Google you can't find uh, and stuff like the blue on app ain't gonna have it either so um I think if you call that tech support number and tell them the problems you're having and the error codes and the manuals that you can pull up can actually help with the with the newer ones help, help teach you how to use the control panel to pull up the error codes and if you can call tech support with the error code like if it's a thermistor or something they can tell you the reading it's supposed to have so you can diagnose it but anyway that that's it if you haven't already like and subscribe it, it really does help out and thanks for watching